Hi there. My name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. And in a previous video, I successfully installed Magic, a suite for developing VLSI designs on my Macintosh running Big Sur. I also tried but was not successful in installing Xchem. And here I'm going to try to finish installing Xchem using one simple trick. Let's see. If I type which xchem, what directory do I get? It's an opt local bin. So let's go to opt local bin. And what happens if I try to run xchem is I get this complaint about dynamic linking having issues. And this is a sign that at some point I didn't correctly fix a bug in the TK make file. But I fixed that and reran this multiple times, doing things properly, running the configure script, then fixing the make file, and then trying to run make, and still ran into all kinds of problems. A viewer suggested hacking the executable using something called installed name tool with underscores. Let's see, man installed name tool. Hopefully, this is something built into Mac OS. Oh, here we go. Yeah, change dynamic shared library install names. Change old new. Huh, let's see if that works. Let me use otool dash capital L on xgim to see the library setup. All right, so it looks like TCL itself is installed properly in terms of what's in the file, but TK is not. And just to be clear, this is something that's embedded in the executable. If I just type more xgim, yeah, it's a binary file. See it anyway. If you look at all this junk, yep, there's some library stuff. And here you'll see that jank directory. That's in that executable. So that's not referencing some environment variable. It might have been doing that somewhere when I was compiling it, which is why I was getting something weird. Anyway, let's try install name tool on xgim. And let's try changing this jank directory to something that looks more like a correct directory, but this will now be libtk8.6.dilib. Fatal error, can't create permission. Oh, I bet you it wants me to run that as a super user. So let's sudo that. Um, did it give me any errors? It did not. Let's try xchem. Oh, you can't see it, but on my other screen, I saw the little x jump. Ah, and it did, in fact, bring up xchem. Wow. So here we have some menus. Obviously, I've not used this before. How do I add a part? What is push symbol? Insert symbol. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that brings up some directory here. Let's see. Uh, let's look in devices. What sort of devices do we have here? I have a crystal. Okay. Ah, there's a crystal. What other kind of devices do we have here? Let's see. I have a DAC bridge. There's a DAC bridge. Very exciting. Delays. Here's a delay. Here's an NMOS something something. Ah, there we go, in MOS transistor. Can I connect these? Uh, do I need a special tool to connect them? Let's see, what about this insert line? Uh, probably not, that's probably just for drawing insert wire. Did that actually land there? How do I move things? Anyway, this is a complicated tool that will probably take some serious time to learn. I probably have to go into some kind of move mode or something. Anyway, there you go. So obviously having to run installed name tool is not the most elegant solution to getting Xchem to compile on the Mac. I opened up an issue on the GitHub. Stefan Shippers, the creator of Xchem, kindly responded with some ideas. And so when I have time, I'm going to go back and try to think about this and come up with a more elegant solution. And probably what I'll do is I'll try installing it on my older 2015 Intel Mac 
that's running Catalina just to sort of have a fresh start. Because I think the main thing is there's some lingering cached something or the other on my M1 Big Sur Mac that's getting in the way of doing a clean recompilation. At least that's my theory.